Welcome to Plugin. We have an unusual show today with three incredible influencers. I'm sitting here with Michelle Patterson, Evelyn Marks, and Kathy Cordes with Everything Evelyn. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Yes. Okay, so I, I'm just happy to like spend time with you guys. We, we met uh, last week and hit it off right away, and I fell in love with the two of you. You're I, amazing. I was, yes. We, so we're going to have a great time on the show today. Yeah. So I just want to jump right into it. Let's talk about let's talk about this blog. This blog ha that has just completely taken off, yes. which is pretty exciting and very exciting. And we are friends. Kathy and I are friends um, through our kids. And when I used to be a speech therapist and I just was like I needed a change, just to do something different. My kids are getting older. I have a 15-year-old son and a nine-year-old son, and they're just getting older, and they don't need me as much. So <laughs> thinking, what else can I do to, to still kind of help people, to still kind of make a change? But this is just a totally different area. Okay. And I was actually starting to read blogs, and I love clothes, and I thought, you know what, I can do this. And I talked to Kathy about it. Well, and I well said, first of all, a lot of things she does – she does like getting her nails done with the sparkles. Everyone now. Which does okay, it. let's look at the nails. Everyone both knows. of you guys have you the have nails done. We go to a, we go Obby, to a different city. Look at Obby's. We don't even go to our local. They, they are too long. I have to chop them. So people travel to get their nails done because of her. Um, and just yeah, yeah, her the sparkles on your eyes. Every you know, she, yeah. So she she's I just love a little all that trend. One of our, uh, uh, our daughter-in-law, she's into nails, and she have a, a blog and a Pinterest. Oh, N uh, uh, Nina nailed it. She had like thirty thousand, forty thousand wow. uh, wow. followers. She was in the Boston newspaper. So maybe you can uh, look her up and see yeah. if there's some tips. She paints her. Things like the American flags for Fourth of July, oh, the Easter really eggs fun. for yeah. I don't know. She sits there for hours. <laughs> the time it takes. I know. Is that what you do too? And then we go to a place in Irvine, and it's the gels, and they just put them on. But what we like about them is they don't peel and uh -huh. they don't rip. And we're so hard with everything with our kids, and so this is just the easiest. And they have such way. a great. So you don't you so do it. We uh, paid for it. You don't. We pay for it. Okay. We don't do it ourselves. Yeah. Oh, okay. She does okay. it herself. That's right. excellent. Yeah. 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 But I love what Kathy That's... was saying too. Is just you. You show up, and it's like you do stuff. It's the nails and the glitter, and and <laughs> it's just fun. my first impression when we met. I mean, we didn't have a clue what each one of us did, but it was right away, instantly, of like, okay, and we're talking about Good energy, everything under mm -hmm. the sun, our kids. I think you bring that, that out. Of yes. Too, though. <laughs> well, I, you I, definitely do. I have, I have fun. I definitely have fun, but I, I love the fact that you, you really, you reinvented yourself in that it's like, what's my passion? What do I love to do? And then you guys did it together. Yeah. yeah. And we started off thinking like, okay, we're going to do this blog. I researched how to do it, but I don't know how to take pictures. And she's always good. Like when we go out, we go on girls trips to Vegas or we go on things. We have a group of friends and she's always really good at taking pictures and editing them and making them good. So I said to her, would you do pictures if I started this thing? She's like, uh, okay, like I'll just go for it. And we thought oh, if two people read it and there are two husbands, that's fine. Like if we get <laughs> right, two people right. that read yeah. it, Your we don't fans. even care. Yeah, yeah. our biggest fans. <laughs> and we don't well, care. And it just became this thing where all of Newport Coast, all the moms started reading it. People were writing us emails. And, and we have girlfriends that are also reinventing yeah. themselves, finding new business. Can we be featured? And will you do a thing on us? And we're like, you want us to do a thing on you? Like, that's so we're so honored, of course. And so it's just all about making people feel good about themselves, reading a little note and saying, this is what's on trend right now. This is what I feel good about myself wearing and take it to the best of your ability and do what you want with it. If you can't wear what I'm wearing in that picture, you don't have to. You don't have to buy what I'm buying and do what I do, but take that little trend, whether it's a booty or a fringe, or, and incorporate it your own way. So is the blog to advise women mm -hmm. on fashion or to rate fashion, like this is a great outfit for the price? or A what little of it? everything, uh -huh. I think. So do you go to different stores mm -hmm. and uh, places and you take pictures? That's and... exactly what we do. Wow. But she also you know, says, look in your closet, mm -hmm. yep. and you might have something from 10 years ago. Yeah, that That's, you could bring back out. Can, right, so... Well, and I love too, when we first met, it was, you know what, it's not, okay, I'm going to look great in, you know, three months when I lose, you know, I loved that, that five pounds or, you know what, it's like, feel good today. Right. And I yeah. loved you that know? you said that. That was one thing that stuck in my mind. And when I 
we did a thing later where we interviewed Trina Turk. And that was something I said to her. And I said, you know, and she was saying the same thing. Feel good about yourself, whatever yeah. that means. She's all about the bright prince. You were saying feel good about yourself in today. And we always talk about, well, when I do this, when I lose weight, I'll feel good wearing this. And I always tell girls, like, <laughs> whatever you're, just embrace yourself for right now. And then along the way, you'll start yeah. feeling better about yourself, which will encourage you to keep going. Yeah. So is this only gender specific? You're doing it for women and young ladies? These are men uh, included. Well, well, well you know, it's funny because we have a girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, we are into fashion, too. Hence the glasses. I know. The, the glasses, glasses and the black. And the black. <laughs> yes, we have a girlfriend. Um, it's actually a girlfriend I went to high school with, and she opened a store in Laguna Beach. Uh-huh. And I reconnected with her. She found the blog, and she's like, Evelyn, I'm down in Laguna Beach, and I have this store. It's called The Vault Laguna. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I they guess. have a now men's yeah. store mm-hmm. and two yeah. men's stores yeah. and a kid's store. And I said to her, we would love to bring our husbands. Mm-hmm. So we thought we're going to do our husbands, yeah. bring them down and have her dress them. And we're going to do a whole post on, you know, the men in, in your life and how to yeah. make them feel good about themselves. And it might not be a, a, an always thing about men, sure. but to incorporate them a little bit into yeah. our adventures, as we call them. We're always going on adventures um, <laughs> to take our pictures. Think about themselves and changing what they're... Yeah. Well, think business. about, too, who's who's buying for them? It's right. Women. We, I yes. mean, women yeah. are actually going... Women are 78% of the consumer, 85% yeah, yeah. of the decision maker. Yeah. Yes. We're going out, we're buying their clothes for them. So I, I want to go back and I want to talk about just the, the friendship because I think that that's what really caught my eye. That's very and, and what Women Network is all about is women supporting women. I'm thrilled that you guys are going to have a show I on Women that. Network. I can't wait. So that is going to be really exciting. But it really is about women showing up for one another. And and I, I, I love that. It was, you know, Kathy's got five kids. Mm-hmm. You know, Evelyn, you've got two, and That's that mindset. That's a full-time job to start with. Completely. Yes. <laughs> you know, but also being able to have, you know, have your passion come through. And what is it that you want to be doing? And you guys get to go to all these different places and mm-hmm. different right, cause fashion we, shows. Because we never thought. Well, never. I never, you know, thought. And and we did click. We clicked right away. Immediately. She, you know, she's a you know giving person and... And just our idea of our children and and, and how we. So do you get to invited upbringing. to these places and uh, you get they pay you, they pay your way or you have to pay your way. To oh no, people. they invite us. We get emails to these events and uh-huh. we go and then okay. we're so lucky because we meet people like Michelle. We but walk we, the red carpet. Yeah. <laughs> we, but we've done all kinds of yes. things uh-huh. and we need to show up. We don't, we we just don't have have fun. To, yeah, we don't have to pay. You know, if there's tickets to go, you yeah, should yeah. Like That's Fashion way, Week, we covered the Fashion Week for the OC Fashion Week and we went every night and. That was a lot. And, 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 <laughs> yeah. and a lot. And we'll get free clothes yeah. from, from places or really good discounts. Yeah. Because they want us to wear their clothes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they want us, you know, to So they give you the clothes almost free or? Yeah, have, free. Uh-huh. Or well, a good I mean, percentage yeah. off. Yeah, so they give your opinion. and It depends on what, uh-huh. what we've, yeah. And it's fun, too. Yeah. It's your, you know, I um I wear clothes for Marissa Kenson mm-hmm. and Claire Farwell and mm-hmm. Just some amazing artists, you know, Trina, we mm-hmm. talked about her with Trina Turk. I mean, so it's fun to be able to wear the clothes uh-huh. and, and show up and just and feel like a million bucks, you know, but and also be able to know. advertising for them. Advertising. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I love knowing the individual. Absolutely. You know, I mean, Claire talks about, you know, she had breast cancer mm. and wanted to go ahead and put clothes together that fit who she was and feeling beautiful in those clothes. And that's where, that's how she got started. Wow. actually fashion and designing and so it's just it's really neat to learn the behind the scenes i mean same thing with you guys yes you know what 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 made you leave the profession that you were in you wanted to be home with your kids right and this way we can do things while the kids are at school and i just have to oh, say yeah. this and i tell you this all the time but i do have to say this like publicly i could not do this without her so i feel like writing and all that i do on my own but i couldn't have the experiences and go out and she tells me how to stand and how to look and sometimes gets frustrated <laughs> with me because i never think i'm a model and i'm not claiming to be a model by any means but like standing better and wearing this better tucking this in and you know she she kind of shows me all those things and even though she might be behind the scenes it's just as big of a part as my part because she edits the pictures and puts them together and you can't have a blog without pictures so you are the writer and she's the editor type yeah thing. okay that's right okay. and the photographer yeah but she's opened my life too <laughs> Gosh, you know from doing laundry and, yeah. and, and cleaning yeah. up after you know after and i think it's and, a good role model for yeah. our kids i mean we talked about this that night I mean, she's five kids four boys and a girl i have two boys and the older kids the older boys and my older boy they're so into their own things they don't really think of us 
except like doing their laundry and Mm -hmm. getting a meal ready or driving them somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's really it. And I feel like as much as they will not admit it or say it, there are little specks within their life where they look at us like, oh, you're doing this today? Oh, you're going to do that today? Oh, what do you do? Oh, you're going out tonight? Or even the little ones. Oh, where are you going tonight? Well, my kids will ask <laughs> the little questions. Ones. <laughs> and it sh- the littler kids, it shows that yeah. I think that's a great message. Right. And that's what we are talking about with your daughter even before. It's a great message to show that we do have a life and we do have other things. Yeah. And it gets them to do more things on their own and become more independent and be proud of us but, that but we're doing something. I think our husbands, something. too. I think our yeah. husbands you know, are proud so, that we're yeah. doing things. I mean, like today my husband has the day off. Yeah. So he's he's home, and he's just like, oh, okay, well, really? Like you have to you have to go this morning. We're gonna be on TV. We but, gotta go. We gotta go. But yeah. this, this lady Michelle Patterson well, called. I don't, I don't think he realized what we were doing though. I don't think he realized. Yeah. But he, but he was like, okay, go. You know, that's fine. You know. Yeah. So it was it was nice. There's yeah. It's there's, a good message for everyone. The whole family. I think it shows a really good message to do, and we can do it at our own pace. And if we can't meet in an afternoon because we're driving them around, we don't, and yeah. that's okay. We do what we can do at our limits. Okay, so here's the last one before we go to break. So <laughs> you're having fun. We're having fun. fun. You <laughs> can fun. tell. You she are having a blast. So fun. And the biggest thing I've, I've learned, and we've gone to like bloggers lunches in LA. We've really tried to put ourselves out there to meet people, to get information on how to make it the best we can make it. And we've gone to these lunches and people, they always say, if you do not love it, you Don't, will get yeah. no readers. Yeah. You will get no one around and you will not have a successful blog. And I think it shows in the writing and in what we're doing that we do love it. Yeah. Well, and it's contagious too. I mean, look at how we met. And yeah. It was like, okay, we started rattling off, we're going to do this together, yes. this together, this together. It's you like, well, we're on a And you guys met channel. in a, in a, in a get We met together? at an event. Yeah. Oh, okay. And hit it off right away. Right away. Wow. Decided, all right, let's run together. Another let's play lady together. to come on, the, on board. Yeah. 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 Okay. And is there a, a subject or product that's off the limit in the, your blog? Ooh, off the limit. Yeah. Yes, a don't. All my girlfriends, when I first started <laughs> oh, out, they said, right. please don't ever refer to me as a don't and block my eyes out <laughs> and make a picture of me with my eyes out like in the glamour don't. So I would never say what not to wear. <laughs> We're ready to go on a break, so we will pick up okay, this message great. again. So Thank we are you. going on a break and we'll be back shortly. Thank you. We are back with Michelle Patterson, CEO of the Women's Network, uh, Evelyn Marks, and Kathy Cordes with Everything Evelyn. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes. We started the show, we ended the show with what's not, uh, you, the things that you will not do yes. or you will not uh, cover. Go ahead. And that, I think, is my biggest thing well, to I, cover, right? Because I asked you. People Remember? ask me that all the time. No, no, no but I asked you. I asked you. I said, wouldn't this be? And, and she's like, no, I will never do that. Oh, right. Because why would you ever want to hurt anyone's feelings? Would, yes. Because she was like, show something an outfit the right way, maybe, and an outfit the wrong way. And I'm like, I could never do that because I think it's just... And coming from the speech therapy field, it was always focusing on, at least my training, was always focusing on what the child can do when you're teaching them that they have yeah. significant disabilities, not what they can't do. Yeah. And you're always focusing, great way to say this, but oh, not to so say So you this. won't be like the fashion police. Exactly. Okay. I could never <laughs> do that. And I commend Kathy Griffin because she thought, I don't yeah. know if you know that, yeah. she's off. Because she yep. thought it was too mean, and she did not like oh, I didn't know that. Okay. going yep. through and like telling women that they didn't look good. She didn't like the the combativeness yep. of the team. And I'm like, and I thought to myself, you know, I don't like. I mean, 
I wouldn't want to be that in that position either. Yeah. I like to focus on the positives. Yeah. And like you, it goes back to what you're saying about embrace your here and now and about focusing on what you can do in your time frame. And that's what drew, that's what drew us together though. Mm-hmm. It's because she is so positive. She's so positive with her kids. When I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, I'm so exhausted. They're, you know, they're just, you know. So, so what do you think of what the French, the law that they passed about having, not having anorexic looking models on the catwalk? Right. I right. love that. And I think it's going to do a whole um, open doors for so many things. I don't know if anyone saw the the Sports Illustrated um, issue lately, the mm-hmm. plus size Oh, oh yeah, she yeah, which yeah. is size. Uh-huh. She yeah. was she's gorgeous. Not, she looked yeah. great. She plus, she plus looked size. normal size. So right. if we could get that ideal, and if it could start in France, and they could start bringing it over to us, where that's not going to be the norm and the accepted. Well, some of the European zero. country are a little ahead of us. Uh, I mean, I think uh, Fra- uh, France and Spain and a couple other countries. If you are not certain weight and uh, with your weight to, to the height, they will not let yeah. you on the runway, and that's the um, message well, they the need to give. Well, the clothes look good too. It's like mm-hmm. you yeah. might as well put it on a hanger. Yeah. yeah. Not only that, the, the person hanger. looked like a skeleton right. walking. Right. And you know, I, and, and, well, it's funny <laughs> because men don't necessarily like that. They, no. They do no. like curvy, yeah. but I think it's that too. women because we're so hard on ourselves. Yes. We 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 point. like the yeah. stick. It, it is the but ugliest it's, you thing can't, but you to can't see achieve a it. it's, it's, skin it's, and bones. Unless well, right? you're doing something and unhealthy. Let, let's talk about that, too, because I think, you know, when we talked about that when we first met and, and had a really great conversation, but just, you know, women, that feeling of I'm not enough, you know, mm-hmm. it's it, I'm not I'm not satisfied. And it's that constant, constant feeling of I need to do this or I'm not this or I'm not pretty enough. Or I'm not in. And that's really what, what I love about what you're doing is really highlighting and spotlighting the great things, yes. you know, and, and being comfortable. I mean, we were talking that night and, you know, I got up that morning. It was like, I, I was feeling kind of fat, feeling a little <laughs> right. And I looked in the mirror and I'm getting my makeup on and I thought, you know what? I'm going to focus on the positives. I'm yes. going to, you know, here we, we teach this and we practice this. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, I've got great eyebrows. We <laughs> do. We do have great eyebrows. I, I've got movie star eyebrows. People pay money to yeah. have their eyebrows. Money for these eyebrows. <laughs> but I just thought, you know what? It's we're so quick to go to a place of the negative. Right. The negative. Right. But what happens? What if we stop? And, and who are we hardest on? We're Our hardest on ourselves. ourselves. Right. Yep. And that's why I think doing this, like I have friends that might not be into fashion. They might not be into knowing what's in, but they want to be. But they really don't quite have it to be in style but they're trying and I have a girlfriend who was trying really hard and she was out somewhere and took a picture on her own feet of like these booties because I wrote a thing about hey you have to get booties and incorporate them into your wardrobe and she's like look look I got these look look you showed me and now I got these and now I get pictures from girls I mean not just my friends but other girls when they're going out saying look what I'm wearing tonight and they'll be just like a picture Mm -hmm. and it's just that idea of even if that makes you feel better about yourself then good for you and no no matter what price point you're at, no matter yeah. where you're at, just figure out how to make you feel good and not be so hard on yourself. Well, I think too, it's like, um, you know, and that's how we started talking. I mean, uh-huh. we had no idea about each other's nope. background and it's like, oh, I like what you're wearing. Yeah. Oh, you look great. And women naturally do this. I think what happens is when we start getting critical of ourselves and we start feeling insecure, then we start looking at, well, oh, well, you know, she thinks she's all that in a bag of chips. Look at what yep. she's wearing. And we start nitpicking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yep. and we go to that place. And, and that's <laughs> where what I love I what think... you're doing is taking fashion and making it the positive And let's celebrate. And I love that. And you look brilliant. And you look great. And that's yep. what's so great think... about the street style, too, mm-hmm. doing street style. Like when we do stuff for the Orange County Register, we go and we find people just down the street. And whatever they're in if they're in a workout outfit or whatever and their face like lights up they're like you want to take a you want to take a picture of me and we've taken men too and men are like really but you and, know but I have to do yeah. I do have to say even if we're doing this and, and I, we see someone that's ne- next to them and they hear us a lot of times they say you know what let's just let's let's ask them too even if we we normally wouldn't ask, you know what I mean just because we just want to make everyone you know feel good and if they're there and you can't always please everyone too. you can't always you know no. so do you give any tips on how to economize or you are 
pushing them to buy the Louis Vuitton oh, and the no. Chanel and all Those the, days are over. No. <laughs> that is that, that, no, I'm all about, I think we both feel, the funny thing about you is, when I started doing this, she would always say like, oh, I have nothing to wear, oh, I have nothing to wear. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> every day we'd go somewhere, she's like in a different outfit. And I'm like, where'd you get that? Oh, I cleaned out oh. my closet and I found this. And all my girlfriends now have a joke about her closet that it's like this never ending <laughs> thing. Cleaning. And, she, <laughs> just, but, and she so like went through yeah. and it motivated her to go through her stuff and find out things and reorganize. But, but, but that's because of her. But I'm saying that feels good to me. Like yeah. now, now she's not just in workout stuff because her kids are driving her nuts, and yeah. she dresses cute every day. And we meet for lunch, and we're always feeling cute, and those kinds of little things. And so I think you can go into your own closet and find things like we talked mm -hmm. about, or there are places out right now, these little boutiques that are focusing on that lesser price point. Yeah. That's yeah. not that, trend, that right. crazy price point. And we love Nordstrom. We love the yeah. savvy department at Nordstrom. And there's girls there. We know them. They know when we come in and they show us all around and we've taken pictures with them. And you can get things for really great price mm -hmm. points to add to what you have. Yeah. You might have your nice bag or your nice pair of jeans and just add. Uh, okay, so you know who I want to give a shout out to? One of my favorite people, and you guys got to meet her and, and oh, fell yeah. in love with her as well, is Jennifer Schultz. Yes. So she's my Beautiful. stylist. And, and I'm a handful. <laughs> She'll be at my house today, and you know she comes in and plans out all the different. She's got great style. She she's has great, great style. She's but style. like, what I'm gonna wear? Where I'm gonna wear it? What? Who my audience is? And I mean, literally goes through. I love that. And and then she does. She'll pull stuff from my closet, and she's like, "You look great in this," mm -hmm. or "This is." But it's just nice to be able to have your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's my stylist, who's now become one of my best closest friends. And she can friends. also say to you, "Not so good." Right? Like, you don't want a friend or someone in a store to always tell you you look great. You don't always look great. Right. And some things look really bad. She said to me, that looks like a paper sack. Take it off. You know, and I have another girlfriend. My friend Jessica will say that to me. No, take that off. She but you don't right. get uh, <laughs> devastated because no, of it. No, because yeah. that's a good friend. Yeah. Right? We'll tell you something. Your tea yeah. right. or something. Well, and we've, you... and we've, we've found some good shops because we know that the salesperson is being honest. You right. know what uh -huh. I mean? And I think and then we're all like, about that. And mm -hmm. if you want to have a stylist. It's going to find the things that fit your body the best, that's your style, that's what you feel comfortable in, and she could see it in your face. Yeah. Well, and, and I hate that too. You'll go to a meeting and you'll go to something, you get done, and you've got like some big old piece of spinach yeah, right in your mouth. To. And you're like, okay, I know that that just didn't <laughs> pop up right now <laughs> because I ate 30 minutes ago. <laughs> right? Always. We all, like, I, like, I always and nobody that. said anything. And that just. Like, you'd say something. You always yeah. say something. Always say but something. Always. Always. Then why do I get in trouble when my wife <laughs> asks me, you. did you like this dress? We go to the store. Do you like it? That's the no. beauty of having a girlfriend, I, though. That's <laughs> my husband right. doesn't yeah. like a lot of the stuff that I wear, but he always says, I guess you know. I guess you know what you're, you know, you know what looks good. And I'm like, you don't like it? I don't know if I really like yeah, it. Yeah, but, but they get, they don't she care. get mad if I say and I don't like it. Because they just don't know. Because they just don't know. us men, it's black and white. We don't have the gray and the green and the right, purple exactly. and black and white. she comes in do you like this no they you like this? Nothing. yeah you know? and she gets a little upset because i didn't like the stuff she liked right and so. that's that's true. true. That's She's true. So different than any woman. That's true. Right. Yeah. My or or what's the uh, what's the question? Do I look do I look fat? Yes. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. There's that is just not. The I know. Situation. I know. There's but it's nothing always. about that question. That's to that be in the dog house answer. for six weeks. <laughs> like, yeah, I, say. My husband and I are getting ready ready to celebrate twenty years, wow. and he just yeah. I know. I have a brilliant, beautiful man. Super, super supportive. But again, he just knows. It's like, just don't say anything. Don't get yeah, there. Just say you look that's that's, that's, just, that's yeah. my husband too. Don't yeah. go there. Yeah. 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 So. But, but don't you want the truth sometimes? Because you want it to look the best when you go out, and you want your man or your uh, significant other to give you the stamp of approval. But see, I think that's the it's beauty of having feel, a though, girlfriend. Too. Right. I think that's the beauty. I think oh. that women... I take pictures. I'll take pictures and, yeah. send, and send it to her. What do you think about this outfit? <laughs> this is like, what I'm going to wear tonight. Women, okay. three different pictures. Which one do you like the best? Okay, yeah. so what did we talk about when we first talked to you, when I saw you were you know hugging the whole bit? I'm like, hey, so... You're like, oh, I love the hair. I'm like, I'm debating on whether to do bangs or not. Yeah. We, we had a conversation around bangs. A whole conversation. Mm -hmm. For like 15 minutes about bangs. Yes. But that's what girlfriends that's what we are for. Do. You know, girlfriends, you can ask that and be okay, like, all right. Okay, so I will refer my wife next time. Call your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Call a friend. Avi, you look beautiful whatever you are, honey. Call your girlfriend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, Avi got his hair cut and I said, Avi, your hair looks great. But we didn't go Thank into you. a whole conversation about his bangs. No. Right? No. No bangs. No, but, but it's a whole fashion. It's a whole style. Yes. It's a whole, you know. 
Yeah. yeah. So it's. But so, I'm so proud of the work that you guys are doing. I'm so yeah. proud of the. We're so honored to like be here. Well, we have a couple minutes left, so to let us let the people know what's your blog and where they can find you and how yes. we can it's, get um, to you. EverythingEvelyn.com. Okay. And it's at Everything Evelyn. It's an Evelyn with an E at the end. Okay. Um, on Instagram. And we are just out and about, and you could follow and you have our a Facebook and Twitter and a Facebook, and everything Evelyn, and I think it's everything Evel Evel one on Twitter. Uh huh. And starting, we'll do a little uh, cliffhanger here too. And starting in June, we'll have you guys on Women Network. We would love that. So <laughs> I'm thrilled to have you writing, blogging, Good pictures, and just and being promoting able to go women. Ahead. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And yes. we know a lot of women um, business owners and all that, so it'd be great yeah. to. Promote them to the right message. Great. Thank All you. right. Message. Well, we're coming to Thank a close. You. you see how fast yes. that uh, half an hour goes? Fun. Uh, well, just a quick commercial. Plugin is uh, produced here at OC Digital Studio, and it's uh, actually will be uh, submitted to different television stations up in the Bay Area. And if you, anybody out there looking for uh, TV produ production infomercial, come to OC Digital Studio. Thank you very much. You can find us at www.ocdigitalstudio.com.